What is up YouTube? It's Johnny here. It's Sunday today, which means it's brunch time. Only problem is that Sydney cafes are so bloody expensive. So today I'm going to show you how to make a basic French toast that will give any of those fancy cafes a run for their money. And let me tell you, if you make this for your special one on a Sunday morning, I guarantee you they'll be impressed. Anyways, let's go. Okay, so the first thing we want to do is make our custard mixture for our toast. You want to use a relatively large dish so you can fit your toast in. So, crack three eggs in, add about half a cup of milk and a teaspoon of vanilla extract. If you don't have vanilla in your pantry, that's completely fine. It's not essential. Oops, almost forgot to add sugar. So, add about a tablespoon of cast sugar in there as well. If you have a bit of a sweet tooth, you can always add more sugar if you like. You can never really have much sugar in your life. Next step is to choose your bread. I personally prefer using a brioche bread. It's a French bread, so naturally it has quite a fancy name. But don't worry, you can still find it at your local grocery store. But if you have some leftover white bread around the house, you can also use that too. Try get a loaf that hasn't been pre-cut. You want to slice it yourself so you can get some nice chunky slices, which are about 2 centimeters thick. Brioche bread has a naturally sweet flavor, which is perfect for this recipe. Also, it's got a much fluffier texture compared to normal bread, which allows it to really soak up that egg mixture. We get our mixture ready and our bread cut, so it's time to get these babies soaked up. We've got some pretty thick slices of bread, so you want to give them a decent amount of time to soak up that custard. Around 1-2 to two minutes on one side, flip over and then leave them there for another 1-2 to two minutes on the other side. Okay, so now it's time for the fun bit. Preheat your pan on a medium heat and add a tablespoon of butter and get it melted down. The butter will help prevent your toast from sticking and give it a really beautiful brown crust. There's nothing worse than ruining your toast because it gets all stuck in the pan. Trust me, it'll save you many minutes on your Sunday morning. So once your butter is nicely melted, just plump your slices of toast into the pan. Make sure your pan is on a medium to medium low heat. You don't want it too hot, otherwise it'll burn your bread quite quickly. But you still want it hot enough so that it caramelizes your bread. You want to cook one side for 2-3 to three minutes before flipping over and cooking for another 2-3 to three minutes. What you're looking for is a nice golden brown colour on each side of the toast. Okay, so 3 minutes is up, so I'm going to do my first flip. Nice, one is looking absolutely gorgeous, but the other one is still slightly too pale. You see how it's kind of got a yellowish colour to it? It hasn't had enough time in the pan to caramelise properly, so I'm going to flip this one again at the end and cook it for another 30 seconds to about a minute. Beautiful, these two slices are looking just the way I wanted them. Nice and golden on each side. Now, let's head straight out to the deck and I'll show you how to present this as if it came straight out of the cafe. So the first little presentation technique is to create a little height. I'm just going to do this by laying one slice on top of the other. Second tip is to give the dish a dusting of icing sugar. So just get a spoon of icing sugar and run it through a sieve. You can use this for french toast, pancakes and it just makes it look way sexier, don't you reckon? And the final presentation tip is to garnish with some fresh fruits. I'm going to use some sliced up strawberries, bananas and blueberries. And there we have it my friends. A sexy looking plate of homemade French toast that will give any cafe a run for their money. I don't know about you, but I prefer this over spending 20 bucks at the cafe any day of the week. Anyways, thank you so much for watching guys. If you found this video helpful, make sure to give it a big thumbs up. Comment down below what your favorite brunch item is. Also, if you want to see the next episode, make sure you subscribe down below. On this channel, we upload cooking videos about simple recipes and cooking techniques that help you get more confident in the kitchen. Anyways, I'm out. Oh, Holy shit. It's really nice. Okay. Okay. Okay.